Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Downtown at the crossroads in the crossroads of America. Battered by the pandemic and two nights of rioting three years ago, downtown Indianapolis has been somewhat slow to recover to its once vibrant self. But there's reason to believe that may be changing with some $2 billion in projects either underway or on the drawing board that stand to change the skyline and perhaps the course of the center city. What is the state of downtown? For some answers, let's go to downtown Indianapolis and Monument Circle, where we're joined by downtown Indy CEO Taylor Schaefer. Taylor, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, okay, there's been a lot of focus on downtown, some challenging times these last few years. Uh, people with questions, is downtown you know, on the way back, coming back? How do you answer those who question whether or not downtown Indianapolis is back? I think it's hard to spend time in downtown and not feel uh, a renewed sense of energy, a renewed sense of vibrancy, uh, an increase in the number of workers that are spending their days here in downtown, uh, as well as a, a real energy and momentum around public spaces and new developments, uh, the arts and entertainment industries that call downtown home, as well as the convention business that continues to really uh, be part of the heartbeat of our mile square. All of those components together, uh, I think, give us a lot of reason to be optimistic about the future of downtown. You held late in the week, you held uh, your annual State of Downtown and, and presented some numbers and some, some facts to kind of back that up. You mentioned getting people back downtown. That's certainly one key element there. Offices, uh, because of the pandemic, became uh, deserted, essentially, in, in many cities. Do you see office workers, do you see that beginning to come back? We do. We track really closely office visits so that it's not just how many offices are utilizing their space, but how many times workers are coming into the office in a given period of time, which I think is all the more important, knowing the flexibility that so many companies are offering uh, with a three or four day work week instead of a five day in office work week. And to date, we've seen nearly 14 million office uh, visits into our downtown. That is a marked increase from the last several years, almost a 70% increase since 2021. And we expect those numbers to really only continue to grow uh, moving forward. I know the cleanliness and the safety downtown are big issues uh, as well that I know you talk about, uh, uh, talked about at the state of downtown Indy. What is happening on those fronts? We are leveraging more than three and a half million dollars uh, from the city of Indianapolis in one time federal funds to focus on how downtown feels. Uh, we want to ensure that whether it's a resident, office worker, or visitor, that they're having an experience in downtown that is positive with spaces that feel cared for, that feel safe, and feel vibrant. Uh, we have seven day a week operations happening across the mile square with additional foot and bike patrols from IMPD with seven day a week cleaning shifts with everything from power washing sidewalks to removing graffiti, uh, picking up lead, litter and engaging in beautification projects with our clean yep. team. And we, we, we understand that a 365 day a year downtown, not just one that is activated around big events, but yep. one that feels welcoming and engaging uh, all year round requires yep. that level of care. Uh, Taylor, is this a tipping point in, in your view? $2 billion in projects, the 40-story Signia by Hilton Hotel on Pan Am Plaza, expansion of the Convention Center, the Elanco Campus, Indy 11, that stadium, which is a much bigger project than just the stadium. Is this a tipping point, do you think, for, for downtown Indianapolis? Well, and I would even say, Gary, that if you zoom out a little further and you think about the entire regional center, you're talking something closer to $9 billion in projects. I think that, it, it, I think that signifies a real desire to continue to invest in downtown, as well as what could be some of the most transformational years in our downtown's history. Hey, very quickly, we're out of time, but I got to ask you uh, your take. Can we expect something on Circle Center, on the future of Circle Center soon? I've been hearing uh, for a long time now, any time we're going to hear something. I think that's exactly right. I think there are several of those really major sites that we all have our eyes on 
that it, at any given point, we're going to have some major news coming out of uh, that really has the potential to be a part of that broader narrative of transformation. Taylor Schaefer, the CEO of Downtown Indy, really appreciate you taking the time uh, to talk today. Lots going on in downtown Indianapolis. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Gary.